Hi, Josue. Hi, teacher. How are you? Mimi. Good evening. So, so, teacher. Why? Why so, so? I'm a little sick. I'm... Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. And um, are, are you... Um, yeah. But, but just a little sick, not too much? Not too yeah, much? I don't know if it's correct, but I'm cold. You have a cold? A resfriado, I don't know how I can say it. Oh, a cold, okay, yeah, a cold, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I see. I'll... Well, I hope I you- it's for the weather. Yeah, yeah, it, it could be, it's, it's sometimes, the weather does affect, yeah, you're right. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. But hopefully you will be better. You will be better soon. Yeah, yeah. okay. Thank you. Yeah, and um, it's, it's very important that you, um, that you, um, you know, take care of yourself, try to take a lot of rest, especially now that the, that the, um, the weekend is coming, you can, you can rest a little bit. Um, and also drink a lot of fluids, right? So water, juice, teas, um, yeah. And, and also, um, it, you know, if you, yeah, any medication like flu medication that would be good too. Yeah. So hopefully yeah, you get better. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. How are maybe you? Maybe I'm going to see a doctor tomorrow. You're going to see a doctor tomorrow? Maybe it yeah. depends. Yeah, well, it's still it, tomorrow. It's like a good idea, you know, because um, especially with um, you know everything that is happening now, it's better to uh, you know to to see a doctor early so that you can um, so you know if, if there's any problems, then you can look at those problems early and, and get the the right medications for it. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's important. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What about Raphael? How are you, Raphael? I'm fine. Yeah. It's your. It's your Hi, teacher. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Your is is your internet okay, Raphael? Uh, I don't actually know. I think it's, it's a little bit bad. The signal has been, oh my God, very bad during the day. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> it happens to me too. <laughs> so it's okay. I understand. Um, all right. How was, how was your, how was your day today? Good, I think. And I could, I was able to practice um, English. And we are improving, I think. <laughs> but it is difficult, in fact. Sometimes it's, yeah, sometimes I feel a little bit disappointed, but. Ah. Why? One day. <laughs> Because I would like to improve more, but I think it's difficult. But I think one day I'm going to be able to do it. You think it's difficult? Um, for me, it's difficult to try to understand native speaker, I think. And that is the thing that I'm trying to improve. Uh, but uh -huh. many people that are native, make many contractions and sometimes I can't even understand well. That is the thing. But. Yeah, I get you. Um, what a, can you. Are you having problems understanding me? No. <laughs> well, there you go then. You can understand native speakers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? So don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, don't okay. worry. Sometimes, sometimes we just get a little bit. Um, we we think that um, we can't do it, but we can. It is possible. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. All right, guys. Um, so um, today, what we're going to be doing, first of all, the first thing I, I want to know is, um, so I know, Raphael, you finished the, the platform, right? Yes, I finished. And I got the certificate. In front. Okay, what about Josue? Are you finished the platform? Yes, teacher, I finished in the last weekend. Ah, perfect. Okay, then we, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, good. Excellent. So today is basically just um, for practicing um, a little bit of the, about the predictions that we saw yesterday, right? Okay. okay. Um, any questions about uh, what we saw yesterday? No. No? Okay. No question. Sorry? Any question, teacher? No question. Okay. I don't know where, where are the others? It's, it's already 908 and the others, I can't see the other people. I'm just going to send them a, a message. Um, Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to say to the rest that we're waiting for them. Um, just give me a moment. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so guys, first thing we're going to do just um, to make sure you understand, um, I'm going to get you guys first of all to um, see a moment. Um, just a second. Six seconds. Okay, so yesterday we learned a little bit about um, how we are able to make predictions, right? And we saw predictions in general and predictions based on evidence, right? Uh, how do how do we know we make normal predictions? Can you remind me about that? Sorry, teacher. How do we make normal predictions? You, can you tell me a little bit about how you make an, a regular prediction? Well, using will. When good, good. When will we are not okay. Um, when we are not uh, pretty sure about what is going to happen, we use will maybe, and when um, when we are, I think like very, very sure that that something is going to happen, we use going to. We can use going to, right? Um, I think. Good, yeah, exactly. Okay, so we have, we use will for predictions, um, but when we are making a prediction about something that we're pretty sure that it's true, then it's going to be used with um, uh, future be going to, good. And after will or future be going to, what do we, what do we use after that? You guys remember? After the will, the will or the future we're going to, do you remember? Yes, no? Mm, what we gotta use? Yeah. So uh, so after will or after be, uh, after be going to, what do we use? Base form. Exactly, the base form of the verb, okay? So we always use will plus the base form. So independent of the subject, it doesn't matter if the subject is I or you or he, the third person singular, or she 
or it, it's always going to be in the third person. Sorry, it's always going to be in the base form. Okay. All right. And so actually, I'm, I have, well, just give me a second. Okay. Give me one second. Oh, by the way, uh, welcome, Alejandra. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Fine, bitch. Thank good. you. Pretty good. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, okay. okay. And Diana also. It's good to know that. Can you hear me, Diana? Yes. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. How are you, girls? How are you doing? Well, well, I think. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, excellent. All right, so right now what we're doing is we're just simply uh, re remembering a little bit of how we talked about the, um, the predictions in the future, okay? And so we were talking about that with, uh, we can use will for a regular prediction. Um, and when we have uh, we, when we have evidence of something, what do we use? Do you remember? So Alejandra, Diana, do you remember what we use? Um, I remember in platform teacher. Sorry. I remember that I saw in platform because I don't was in class yesterday. Oh, good. Okay, okay. But you saw you saw it in the in the YouTube. Yes. Oh, okay. no, I'm in the platform. Platform. Oh, you mean the video? Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, so, all right. So, uh, what? What is um, what is the structure that we use then for when we when we're making a prediction and we have evidence? What is the structure? Do you remember? We use going to, right? Good. We use be going to. Exactly. We use be going to exactly. So um, that is the structure we use. And after be going to or will, we use the base form of the verb all the time. We use the base form of the verb. Okay, all right. Okay. okay. Now, what do we use when we're talking about a prediction of something that is a long activity? Okay, so we're talking about something that is going to be a very long activity here. So what do we uh, use? Maybe that? we'll be in the ING form. Yes, very good. What, 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 how? How do we use the ing form? It's will plus b plus the ing verb. I think. Good, exactly. So we use the will first, and then we're going to be using the verb plus ing. Very good, excellent. Okay, so that's when the the activity is going to be long. It's a long activity that is going to be in progress from the future. And then there is the one prediction where we have two actions in the future, okay, two actions. And the one action is finished before another action, okay. And how do you, how do you, um, how do you talk about that type? What do we use? Okay, just give me a second, everybody. I'm getting the picture ready so I can show you.
Okay, so I'm going to show you right now. This is um, what we what we saw last class. Um, do you guys remember this? Um, tell me, let me know uh, when you can see it. Can you see, we can it? see now? Yes, <clears throat> we see it now. Okay, good. So right here, we saw that this is a predictions with um, the subject plus will plus base form of the verb and the complement that's necessary, right? So that's when we have a regular prediction. Then we have predictions based on evidence. We have um, the, the subject plus future we're going to, and then the verb. Um, I, I didn't actually put this, but it should be verb in the base form and then a complement if it's necessary. And then we have predictions um, on activities and progress in the future. There are two forms that we can use. We can use the subject plus will, plus be, plus verb, plus ing, plus the complement, or it's also possible to use the subject plus the future be going to, plus verb, plus complement. So right now what I want you to do is, I want you to think about your future. And I want you to think about what predictions can you make using will, uh, using future be going to, and using uh, predictions of activities in progress in the future uh, with will plus verb ing or the future we're going to plus verb, okay? Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I made a mistake here and I didn't even realize it. The, right here it should say, because this one's the same as this one. Right here it should say will, okay? So I'm just going to actually write down, down. Um, it should actually say, let me just give me a second here. I'm going to write over here, it should say, Okay, so right here it should say subject plus will plus future but going to plus the verb. Okay, so I want you to be using, I'm, I want you to make a sentence for each one of these um, structures here. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so right now think about your future. Think about um, in the next, let's say, five, five years. Okay, so think about the next five years, and I want you to make sentences about um, about your future using those four structures. You can ask me any questions if um, something that you don't understand.
Any questions so far? No, teacher. Everything's fine. Sorry guys, can you, what, what can you see in this? Hold on, give me a moment. What can you see right now? It's nice. The side, okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, okay. All right, continue working. Um, I'm gonna give you maybe three more minutes. Okay. Or do you more, do you need more time? It's okay. How many questions? That is. So one one um one um, sentence per structure. Okay. So four four sentences in total. Okay. It shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. Okay, you guys finished? You need more time? No, I think not. No, no. No? You're finished? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to stop sharing for a moment. Sorry, guys, I, I'm trying to. Oh, no, let me see. Just give me a second. Okay, all right. So, um, so that was, that's, that's for uh, the predictions, um, looking at the difference between, um, predictions, just regular predictions, and uh, predictions with activities um, that are 
um, that have evidence that there's a prediction. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, right now, can, what can you guys see on your board right now? On your, on your screen, sorry, what can you see? Only the light. Sorry? Only the light. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Then I'm gonna stop sharing because I'm, I'm trying to share the other. <clears throat> Okay, let me see. Okay. What guys, what can you see right now, guys? Can you see the other slide? Yeah, we have. Okay, yes, perfect. we can. Right. So, okay, perfect. Excellent. All right, so this is the other slide. Um, this is about future actions completed before another time. It or um, action in the future time. And I, I talked yesterday about um, the fact that this is uh, when you have, for example, um, a time frame over here where you have the future. Over here, this is the future. Okay. And then we have two activities in the future. Okay, one activity happens over here, okay, and another activity or another time, you can also get another time, happens over here, okay? And so what we're saying is that this activity is finished before this activity. Well, that's, at least that's what we believe, that it will be finished by, by the end, right? This is the present, okay? and this activity over here can be changed. Um, it doesn't really, oops, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can have this activity uh, being placed over here, or we can have it being placed over here. Okay. Right? Or it could be placed even right next to it. Okay. So it really doesn't matter where that activity is placed as long as it's finished before this activity. And for this one, we're gonna use subject plus will plus have, plus best participle, and then complement if it's necessary. Okay, so I want you to make one sentence about that as well. Okay. Okay, you finished? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. So what we're gonna do then is I'm gonna stop sharing. And what I need you guys to do right now is we're gonna be uh, working in in groups, or sorry, in, in, yeah, in groups. I would say in groups. And uh, I, want, uh, I need you guys to um, be sharing those sentences with your classmates, okay? All right, so let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna break it off. We're gonna have two groups, okay? And I'm gonna open it up. Oops. Okay. Um, open up the rooms. Okay, so go ahead. Join your group.
<laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Uh, so forget it. I can hear. I can hear something, but I'm not identify what kind of, of sounds okay. is this. Okay, but it's not uh, disgusting for you. No, 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 no it's not disgusting. Okay, okay, sure. Can you see okay. my my sentences? Um, yes, okay, yes. Chat, Chat, right. Chatting okay. with us, please. Mm -hmm. Back to just look at the many things. Uh, okay, you can perfect. share. You can share your yours, of course, so that I can see. Oh and yeah, that's right. Okay, just let me. <laughs> I read it in the in the in WhatsApp. <laughs> oh. um, just let me write it here. But in this case, all the. All the all the classmates can see this. Oh really? No. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, Rafael oh. Monge for for for. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Is not only for this group. No. Teacher? I don't know. Maybe I. Uh, mm. the teacher is here. I wait to ask you. Teacher. What What are you talking about? Uh, the chat. In what group? In what group are you talking about? Because I yeah, said this, chat. This, this this sentence. So they we were oh, thinking no, no. Okay. If everybody can see this. No. No. Uh, oh. if you're you're if you're writing in this in the chat in Zoom, only mm -hmm. the people in the breakout in your breakout room can see it. Oh okay. Yeah, ah, that, okay. I was thinking ah, about okay. that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think Let that me is send it. Okay, I send nice. it one by one. Okay. So maybe you I, I, I interrupted you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, no. Okay. okay. I already sent my three okay. sentences. Oh, in the WhatsApp group, right? Yes. You, you can see it? Yes, of course. Now that one is public. <laughs> now that one, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Very, very public. Oh my God. I think you should write it them in the chat, but you didn't. So. Oh. And you know what? I just realized right now that you are <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> I didn't know that before. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I always wonder, oh my God. I always wonder who was Luigi, and I just realized who it is now. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, continue. Ignore me. You you go ahead and continue. Um, okay, so. I think, um, Luis, Luis. Yes. I'm checking your your sentences. I don't know if it the would be second. better if you if you put when January has ended, maybe. Ah, yes, you're right. It's missus has ended. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Okay. And um, and the second one, I think that means uh, I'm going to. Go maybe. Mm, if it's the near future, I think no. No, no. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is because I I use as a I use um a past but, participle in, okay, in, in, but, about about uh, about the the damage in my in my car. Mm -hmm. But but it, but, but it, after I'm going, mm -hmm. uh, we need um maybe. A uh, verb, me, I think, or not? Let me check. Let me check. That. Well, what I know is that when you are talking, for example, if you are going to go tomorrow, you can say just, I'm going to the mechanic for repair it. Just like that. But if it's going okay. to be in, but in, but in fact, um, we should follow the, the, the structure that the teacher gave us, I, I think, mm -hmm. just to... to yeah, follow. okay, I'm not sure, it's okay. just... Uh, um, uh -huh. Maybe, I don't know, something that 
sounds weird for me, but it's okay. No, ah, okay. Sure. Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe the teacher could um Still could have help. Could clear yeah. this, this down. Teacher. What, what is the doubt? I didn't understand. Okay, the uh, thing is that that Luis wrote, my car is damaged. I'm going to the mechanic for repair it. I don't know if I'm mistaken, but I was thought that when we're talking about near future, we can use um, present progressive to mean um, that we are going to go. Right? But, okay, the thing that I was thinking <laughs> is that uh, after I'm going, maybe you can you need to use a verb after i'm yes. going to i'm going to yeah, but i'm not sure teacher okay but the thing is that what it sounds like to me if i'm not mistaken it sounds like you are um like you're you're talking about plan and here what we're doing is we're we're trying to talk about a not a plan but a prediction for the future because okay yeah i understand for example in the second one that it's like the present because mm -hmm. i'm doing that yes, at but this moment like like that it would be like okay the thing that that i'm seeing is that maybe it's not like at the future because mm -hmm. I'm doing this action. Yes, Why? I, because I I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, sure. because I'm going at this moment. No, maybe I'm going to go. Because I said, Yes, I'm I, I not to specify the moment that I'm going. <laughs> yeah, that's yes, right. But, uh, exactly. but you can but you can use that that way also to me in the future. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh huh. That is the thing. I, I don't know if yeah I'm maybe we, we can get confused because it's yes. not clear at this mm -hmm. okay if you don't know yes, the I context know, I know. yeah mm -hmm. yeah you can get yes. confused yes yeah, this is my my mistake sorry no no <laughs> yeah and there you, you, it sounds like you're using the present progressive which is not something that we use for predictions mm -hmm. so it's best to keep to stick to the structures that we we talked about mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in and, and check out the other group. If you guys need help, if you just call me okay. over. Okay. Okay, okay thank teacher. Thank you All for right. your help. Yeah, you're okay. welcome. Okay. Uh, what about the third one? Okay. Hey, guys, have, have, you never, have you never seen that the present progressive? He, he wrote her sentence. His, his sentence, his sentence. I will be living in Sweden by at the end of the next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, he wrote the sentence. Okay. Do you have other sentence? No. Um... What about you, Sue? Do you have other sentence? Okay, my, my another sentence, my my uncle always works a lot. He's going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I think. It's a good prediction. He's going to be stressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my sentence. Um, the time is running out. We're going to finish today. Yeah. Okay. Do you have other Josue? No. Oh. And, uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. Well, I have okay, others. Sorry, sorry, I'm going to actually stop you guys for a moment. What I want you to do right now in this moment is um, if you already talked about yourself, now I'd like you to make predictions about your classmates. 
So Luis, you're going to be talking about predictions for Josue and Diana. Josue, you're going to make predictions for Luis and Diana. Diana, you're going to make predictions for Luis and Josue. Okay? Okay, okay. Got it? Okay, we got it, teacher. All right, Thank perfect. you. All right, see you guys um, in a bit. I'll go, I'm going to go okay. to the other group. Okay, no problem. Okay, let, let me start. Yes, and okay. Okay, I don't know what I happened. Maybe, know. Yes, maybe I think you know, but no, no, you, no. you ate it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now my 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 bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's um I will be working as an. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Guys, yeah, I've, I'm I'm so sorry to interrupt, but um now what I'm going to do, you guys to uh, instead of talking about yourself now, you're gonna be making predictions about your classmates. So for example, Alejandra, you're gonna make predictions about Rafael and Luis. And Rafael, you're gonna make predictions about Alejandra and Luis. And Luis, you're gonna make predictions about Alejandra and Rafael. Okay, oh, using okay. the same structure. Got it? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, guys. That is not this. That is not necessary to 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 write. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Just oh. just speak them out. Yeah. Okay. Just tell them. Oh, okay. okay. So, um, for example, I think Alejandra um, will uh, be working in Italy next year. Example. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Something like that. Good okay. For you, Alejandra. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, I think uh, you guys will be um, will be able to speak English fluently by the time by time um, by the time of next year. No, by this time of next year. Sorry, by this time next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is for Alejandra. No, um, no for you also. <laughs> no, 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 my, the, my the, sentence, the, <laughs> the, oh, my no, prediction no. about what... <laughs> his sentence. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, okay. The, I think it, she will be, um, she will be. The, Bex engineer in 2000 and 2020. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay, maybe. <laughs> uh, I think uh, Diana uh, will get in Marbet the next year. <laughs> are, are, are you married, Diana? No. <laughs> uh, well, the next year, maybe. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, she says. <laughs> All right. Uh, Luis, just, just something I, I wanted to ask. Um, uh, did you, so, you, what, can you repeat the, the sentence again? Um, I don't remember well, but um, I said something like, I am Diana uh, will get in a uh, Will get in Marvel the next year? Good, excellent. Just be careful because with that one you are you have to use the verb to be. So will be getting. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll continue. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who's the next? You you get the Teacher, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Diana, for example, you... Yes, do you need something? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so uh, I have to say, for example, um, Jose will be older in five years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Or maybe we, we, we will be older in five years. <laughs> okay. Okay, so she, she doesn't want you to feel so bad. She said, yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, continue. Pretend I'm okay. not here. Okay. Okay, Diana. I think you will travel to Cancun in two years. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can be other other place? For your honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Where ah <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> this is this is the sentence complete <laughs> yeah for the moon for the moon <laughs> so um how do you say that uh, honeymoon no <laughs> <laughs> Do it, it have a specific word I think. What do you mean? Uh, luna de miel. Yeah, that's the word, honeymoon. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honeymoon, that's how you say honeymoon. Okay. So, so, but Diana, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Okay, well, tell him you have to, you have, he has to hurry up because you, they already have they, they, that um, you know they already have you married next year and and with a honeymoon in Cancun. So <laughs> they have to up. Yeah, but uh, they are right? they are copying me. They are copying me for uh, because I said uh, that I get married next year. Oh, okay, okay. So you're, that's your prediction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I see. All right. Well, you, know, you can you can share that with your boyfriend and see what he thinks. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he needs well. You need to save some money if you if you're going to to Cancun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of money. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess uh, Josue uh, will be traveling the next year. Okay. Okay, Luis, I think you will be teaching graphic design. Okay, so it seems like I have everybody back here. Okay, so we had a chance there to um, talk to your classmates about your predictions about yourself and the predictions you had about them. And um, from what I heard, you had very interesting predictions for your classmates. So that was very, very fun. Okay.
Any questions about how to make predictions for the future? No, Chair. No. No, no. You sure? Um, me maybe the the question that we had with with Rafael and Luis that was about the like the present progressive could be like a, a prediction maybe but I'm not sure maybe Rafael can explain better what I'm talking about what I, yeah that would be helpful uh, what I will what I was saying teacher is that I remember that I was taught that I can use um, present progressive to express future, but a near future. For example, if I say, um, I'm repairing my car tomorrow, for example, and it's something that is going to happen tomorrow in the future, right? But it's near future. Uh, that's what I remember. Yeah, I was wondering about that because, okay, the present progressive, I think that it's a, like the present progressive, right? So I'm not sure about that. It, okay, it sounds weird, I mean. I think, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know, teacher. Maybe you can clarify that for us, please. Sure. Um, okay, from what I understand, you're, you're, you're talking about the present progressive for the future. Yes. Um, first of all, let's just clarify that, yes, you can use the present progressive for the future, but it's not for predictions. Okay? So let's just make sure that we understand that, that it's not for predictions. Okay? The second thing is that... Um, uh, we can use it not, it's not going to be for, um, it's not going to be for, for, um, what did you say? What did you, what did you say, Rafael? Future, the, the, for the what? Near future. Okay, good. It's not going to be for the near future. Mm -hmm. What we use the, the future progressive for is when we're talking about a fixed arrangement. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about um, um, we're talking about um, maybe, maybe you can make an example to to catch the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can Please, do that. Future. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's not it's not a a um, what did you say? I, I keep I keep on forgetting the, the word. What did you say, Rafael? <laughs> near future. Near future. It's not for near future. Thank you. It's for um, a fixed plan, something, an arrangement that you made. So you know for sure, you're pretty sure that's going to happen mm -hmm. because you made arrangements for it. You talked about it. Okay. okay. Um, So, okay. so if I say, for example, I am going to go, I'm going to go to the Cameron this this vacation. Okay, what this means is, okay, if I use this, I'm going to go to the camera or I'm going to, let's say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this one. I'm gonna say, I'm going to visit. I'm going to visit the camera. I'm going to, or I'm gonna stay at, that's better. I'm going to stay at the camera on uh, this vacation. What you're saying here is that this is your intention. This is the future intention, okay? So the intentions, though, are not 100%, sure, right? Because um, an intention just says, that's what I want to do. So intentions are usually, usually stay in our mind or in our heart, right? It's our desire. So 
that's a future intention. That would be what we use. Um, what we use for uh, the future intentions. Okay, so here we're using future be going to. Okay, however, we can change this the same sentence here and make it the future progressive. So over here, let me actually write this down. So this is future be going to. Okay. By the way, you guys don't need this for the for the platform. Okay. This is just extra. Um, this is what this is, sorry. Um, future, future be going to future. Okay, so this is about the future be going to. All right, now. It, however, we can use the present progressive or the present continuous, the same thing, continuous. Um, so we can change the sentence to make the same idea, but making the sentence in the present uh, continuous. Now you're going to say, I'm or I am staying at the Cameron this vacation. And what this means is that by using the present continuous, you're changing the future intention to a fixed, sorry, a fixed plan, okay, or arrangement. So what you're saying is, I know for sure that it's going to happen. How do I know for sure? Because I've made fixed plans. So not only is it in my heart, I already made plans. So that means that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be staying at the Camelot this, this vacation because I have maybe talked, like maybe I called, I made a reservation, I already paid, okay? I have the time. Um, I So, you know, they're, they're, the, the plans are fixed, okay? So they are determined, they're concrete, okay? Whereas these ones, it's just something that I, it's an idea I have, or it's something that I wish in my heart to do. Do, do you see the difference? Yeah. In fact, I learned something new this time. Why? What, what, what was new? Sorry? <laughs> What, what was new? What did you, what, what new thing did you learn? Yeah, the thing is that I was thought that, uh, as I told you, that in the near future, uh, we, we, uh, we can use um, present continuous with, with near future. But I didn't know that when, I, uh, when I'm using present continuous to express future is because I, in fact, what I have is fixed plan or rearrangement. That is the thing. And that is, um, and we'd be going to it, our future intentions. That is something that I didn't know until now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are future intentions or plans or mm -hmm. future plans. That's what I plan to do. And usually future intention, sorry, future be going to, we use for things that we want to do someday. And usually we don't have a specific time, right? Because you can like expressions like, Someday I want to, okay, someday I'm going to um, travel around the world. That means that that's my intention. That's what I want mm -hmm. to do. In my heart, mm -hmm. I have that. But is it going to happen? Probably. It's very difficult to, know. to happen, mm -hmm. right? I don't have specific plans for that to happen. In it's fact, different um, if I already I bought a ticket mm -hmm. and the ticket says here that I'm going to be traveling to this country and that country and that country and so on. That's different. In fact, uh, what I was thinking is that, uh, for example, in movies or programs, um, I've always um, heard that, in fact, is is more used maybe present continues to express future, right? Or things that they are going to do in the moment, right? For example, oh, you know what? I'm buying the ticket or I'm, I'm going shopping, for example, and it's very, very used, I think, in that way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I would definitely, yeah, I, I agree. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. So that's just a little, little bit about that. And um, okay, before we we finish off our class, um, I want to know um, questions about the platform. Um, I know. I know, Raphael, you were asking me the other day about section part B, and you said exercise three. But what I don't know if it's if that's part one or part two, because that one has two parts, part one and part two. So I don't know which one you're referring to. Um, well, I solved the problems with that. Um, you mean with the final exam? Yeah, the final you, exam? you asked me about um, mm -hmm. section B in the final exam. Yeah, but I, I solved it. Oh, okay, you already solved it. Okay, all right, perfect. All right, any questions, any other questions you guys have um, before about the, sorry, the, the final exam? Anything at all? No? Um, I couldn't complete uh, two sentences, but at this moment, I don't remember which ones was. But I think that it was the second part. Part that B? Was a, um, yeah, but... Okay, I mean the the section that you had to to like write with the correct form the whole sentence was the um, about um I think that it's what the topic was the can someone to do something I think I'm not sure. Uh, you mean the causative? Yeah. One uh huh. Okay. So let me show you if it's this one, the one you're talking about. Just give me. Yes, I'm not pretty sure, teacher, but I think that was that was section. I couldn't. Okay, I did two sentences, but the other one, I couldn't write it well. Okay, I think you are talking about part B. I don't know. Um, which one? Part B. I, I'm going to show it to you in a moment and you tell okay. me if I'm, if I'm right or wrong. Okay, let me just see if I can find it. So it's definitely about the causative, right? Yes, I see. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, I will try to look it up about and I will send you, okay? Maybe in my safe phone. Okay, I have here. Sorry, I, I have here the page, so tell me if this is the one. Yeah, this one. I think that was the third one. The third one, teacher. This one right here? Yes. 
Okay, so for this one, all you gotta do is find the mistake, right? Yes. So, so this one is using the passive, right? Right. Um, this one's using the passive because notice it's it's um, the the subject is Eliza. Can have is um, the verb to be sorry the, the verb to um, to have. Then here we have the object. For driver's license, that's the object, and the past participle is sorry, the, and, the, and the verb is renew. But we need to put this the renew in the past participle. So, what's the past participle of renew? Renew, I think. Exactly, it's a renew. regular verb. Yes, I read it that this way, but it doesn't work. <laughs> it was, know. it was wrong. I'm, I mean, I don't know why. I I tried a lot of uh, choices, but nope. This was what I said, what I said at the beginning. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, do you have the same problem? No, I solve it, ah, but after okay. trying, 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 yeah, and I wrote the same, and suddenly it appeared. Good. So which one is the correct answer, I mean? Just change the renew for renewed. Yeah. Okay, that's weird because I that's tried. What I, did. <laughs> I already tried. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Maybe I wrote <laughs> something something wrong and now I don't know. Because the other I for example in the first no, and the second one, instead of at, I put ad, a d, no, a t. So maybe I made a mistake as this one. Okay, but thank you for clarifying this one for me. Yeah, sometimes what it may happen is that it could be something so little as a space. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we put a little space at the beginning, or we may forget to put a period, or we may put, forget to put a, co a comma, or a um, um, question mark, or maybe we spelt it wrong. So it could be tiny little, little details like that that will make a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So you can try it. You can check that out. Make sure you have it correct. Okay? Anything else? Any other questions that you guys have um, about the, the final exam? So it's all clear? Yeah. 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 So there's really nothing I can help you with in the in the final exam? No, I think that everything is okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure that I've got it correct. So I'm going to launch the poll right now. And I'd like you guys to complete. All right, so I've got everything. Everybody has voted and I'm just going to share right now the, the results. Got it? Bravo. Excellent, guys. Very, very good. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Teacher. Yeah. Just a question. Because yeah. I remember that in the, uh, in the platform, it was odd. In fact, it's the last. You uh, the four. Um, you can get your leather boot shines at Joe's shop. Show shoe shop. Um, I was trying 
when, when I was uh, doing this exercise, I was trying to put Sean because I remember that the past participle of shine is Sean, but I don't know if I'm mistaken because the the correct um, in, when I, but it does it didn't work in fact. So I wrote I wrote it like um, regular verb shined and that did work. So um, I don't know what would be. Yeah, because um, the verb is shine, not not show. The past participle of show is shown, but this is shine. So it's a regular verb. Shine the video, yeah. not show the 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 mostrar. Mm, yes, that that is the thing. But yes, yeah, shine shown shown right. But it doesn't admit that word, shown. No, because um, shine is, shine is brillar. Okay. Teacher, maybe uh, in, in this sentence, uh, shines, isn't an um, objective, uh, object. it's the verb. Yeah, yeah, definitely shine is a verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not an adjective, the shine is the verb. So mm -hmm. what would it be the, the, the past participle that of that verb, teacher? Sorry. Shined. It's a regular verb. Oh really. Yeah, to shine. It's a verb regular verb. Okay. Okay. All right. Questions? Any other questions that you guys have? So I already checked, I already checked in and um, for number three, yeah, that's exactly, all you have to do is change renew, renew to renewed. That's all you have to do. So just make sure that's in the past part. So. All right, okay. anything else? No. Okay, guys, so we're, that's going to be all for today then in that case. Um, well, I just, um, the only thing I, that I need to say then is um, it's been a pleasure having you guys. And I hope you guys um, will, um, will be able to complete the platforming um, with all the exercises. And if you remember, if you want to practice a little bit more and get a better grade, you can do that too. You still have a little over an hour and a half to do it. And uh, remember to finish the um, giving the documents before December the 23rd so that you guys can um, can apply for next year. Okay? okay. So that will be all for okay, today, okay. guys. It's been okay, a pleasure Thank having you. you guys. And I hope Thanks you have a lot, a teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. And um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy your vacation. Okay, stay safe, and hopefully we'll see each other. You too. Later. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys. The same to Bye -bye. you, teacher. Take care, teacher. Thank you Take so care, much for everyone. your help. You're welcome. All right. Bye bye. Hope to see you in next bye. year, teacher. Okay. For everyone. Yeah, I hope to see you guys as well. Take lots of care. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night for everyone. Good night, Alejandro.